everybody. Welcome to St. Louis. He's Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. The Sharks are in the driver's seat and can really put the squeeze here tonight with a win. Each step you can take along the way is another nail in the coffin. They want to put one more in tonight. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Here's a shot. No room for that one to get through. Maintains possession. San Jose's moving it into the offensive end. Here he is with the backhander. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Uses the force on that hit. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. He grabs the puck here at the point. Quick feed to LeBanc. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Not quite a bear hug, but holding is the call, Ray. As soon as you reach out, you're, you're alerting the official to take a closer look. And one hand off the stick in traffic, it's a bad place to be. got burned. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. Now you get your big boys on the ice, the guys that are supposed to score for you. They'll have a chance on their first power play. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Feeds it down low. Cannon of a shot, just wide. Takes the feed at the point. Moves it quickly over to Donato. Made the save on the play. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The game is still scoreless. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Puck exits the zone. Oh, he exploded on him in the open ice. Takes the pass from the left wing. Jabs the puck away. Picked up along the boards by Pareko. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Let's get the call here. So often in a in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four-on-four play usually starts pretty cautiously. It takes one missed pass miss shot and all of a sudden there's man advantage breaks opening up all over here's a shot big save by the goaltender once again i like how he was able to follow the puck good saving close dubnik's positioning allows him to stay up long enough to get the glove in a good place to make the save And a solid job tying up his opponent. Here's a short pass to Meyer. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And let's see what the call is. Officials calling tripping here on this one. This was the penalty I think when I took. I was most angry at myself because you're not trying to do it. And then all of a sudden, you see the guy go down, and you're just like, oh, man, here I go. There's the result. San Jose's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The teams that have the most success four on three, James, they move around their power play. They don't stand in the same spot all the time. Biddington's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. The Blues win the draw. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. From one point man to another. Moves it to Kane. And now he moves it to Burns. That pass goes a little sideways. Tarasenko's moving it ahead. Look out, a two-on-one. Snaps it on net. And that's a paddling from the goaltender. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Hurdle. Along the wing up the neutral zone. 
They've got numbers. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Binnington. Pretty efficient save there. The goalie helps the D-man out by putting the rebound in the corner. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. And both sides will be shorthanded now as another penalty is coming up, effectively neutralizing that power play. The Sharks are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Are you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Couture's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Slides the puck across to Meyer. San Jose's got it along the wall. And now it's over to Meyer. Takes the feed from the left side. St. Louis has it in their own zone. The Blues will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We're still scoreless. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Thomas draws a penalty as he gets hooked. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. The Sharks have been handed two minutes for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. The Blues roll out their man advantage unit and they've got lots of time with this five on three. When this puck is moved side to side on a five on three, you're going to rotate those penalty killers around. Eventually, you're going to tire them out. I don't mind taking a shot, but it can't be a bad one from the wing. Get it on the net. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Bozak. Receives the pass. Stopped by the blocker. He reacts late, but he makes a save through traffic. Loose puck battle along the boards. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. The setters will glide into the dot. Sorensen's won it off the faceoff. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. And now he tries to get it across to Shen. St. Louis on the attack. And they can't convert to the play. Huge stick save by the goaltender. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they manage to clear it. Time running out with this man advantage. Here we go. Quick pass to O'Reilly. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. I like the work the penalty killers did there. The power play at times looked dangerous, but they didn't give up anything. And the power play is now over. Strong defensive effort. Centering pass from the backhand in front. Big save. Yeah, the officials didn't like that. The arms were in the air. There's the whistle. And let's hear what the official's explanation on this one is. The Sharks will serve two for slashing. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. St. Louis is ready to go back to work on special teams. Oh, here they go again. They haven't had a lot of power plays tonight, James, but here's a chance to crack through with the man advantage. Trying to clear the puck. And they do just that. Oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's... A time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. The Blues looking against the half wall. And the puck departs the zone. The Sharks ready to go on the attack. Maybe a little too fine there, James. He's trying to make that a perfect shot. It's such a good chance at scoring a goal. So close on the play. Offside is the call that will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Thomas wins it. And now it's grabbed by Tarasenko. The Sharks get a hold of the puck under man. Blazing in on the breakaway. What a back check. Yeah, he came all the way back, James. He's able to get to the puck without taking a penalty. 
St. Louis plays it against the boards. And that's blocked. And that was stopped. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. The Sharks gain possession of the defensive zone. Puck slid down the ice. St. Louis has it near the wall. The Blues fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions, and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. Dubnik's a little bit fortunate there. He makes a terrific stop, but he just gets a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Here in the back half of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Quick feed to Bortuzzo and makes the save. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Gets a hold of the puck. With the blast, denies him with the save. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Couldn't make that one happen. Taken along the wall by Middleton. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Now he slides it up to LeBanc. Here he is in close. Oh, couldn't finish the job. What an excellent opportunity, Ray. They worked their way into good shape. He's just not able to beat the goalie. As soon as the player winds up, the goaltender moves out, squares up, and makes the save on the slapper. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. We got a penalty coming up here. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. And the whistle stops the play. And someone's off to the box. The Sharks will serve two minutes in the box. A little too rambunctious on the hit. The sound, I think, alerts the referee and boardings the call. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Well, we get another chance here. They've earned the power play. They haven't got anything on their power plays yet. Haven't had a lot of them, but here's a nice chance for them. He scores on the power play! Taking advantage of the extra man. Move the puck well and get on the board. Man, he snapped that draw right back cleanly. It gave the shooter plenty of time to tee it up and hammer it home. St. Louis has dictated play here in the first, which is why they lead. Dominated in shots, dominated in territorial play. And now with the one goal lead, they'll stretch it out if they can going into the intermission. Passes it to Burns. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Moves it quick to Fulton. The Blues take it along the wall. From the left side, takes it at center. The Blues take it along the wall. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Burns. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Moves it to Perron. Takes the pass. All alone. Scores! They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. I'm not sure if he was calm at all, James, but he got out in the clear, and he finishes this breakaway off.
The Blues have to be feeling good about themselves extending the lead to two. They should. They played a terrific hockey game and now so close to the end of the second period, they want to bring it right to the intermission just like this. Throws it in. The Blues have it against the wall. Gets it over to Perron. St. Louis takes it across the line. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it up. Quick pass to Meyer. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And there's the whistle. Yet another penalty set to be handed out here. The Sharks don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. As soon as he stops skating, he has to reach out with his stick. Parallel to the ice, it's going to get called most every time. St. Louis is set to go back to work on the power play. At the morning skate today, they were really working on the power play quite extensively. The power play coach has to be satisfied with how they've looked tonight. The Blues have the puck in the corner. Blocked in traffic. Quick feed to Donato. Taken by Sorensen. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Sanford. To his teammate! Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Oh, slick work with the glove by Dubnik. Takes the feed. He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. Well, the goaltender can't quite catch up to this, James. You see on the replay, he gets a piece of it, but not enough to slow it down. St. Louis has had more scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals late in this first period. Couture's won the draw here in the open ice. San Jose's looking to break out. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. San Jose's moving it up the ice. Pushes it across to Burns. Slides it on over to Shimmick. Here's a short pass to Barbashev. St. Louis has the puck. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Meyer's stick work has resulted in a two-minute penalty for hooking. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. The Blues once again send out their power play unit. I'm not so sure what they looked at in the penalty-killing meeting, but the only thing they've done really well tonight is dig the puck out of the net as his power play gets another chance. They've been so good tonight. St. Louis has possession of it now. Comes up with the stop. Schwartz has been able to produce in this postseason among the top in the league. Doesn't matter how they try to shadow him. The Blues have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Love save made by Dubnik. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Blues have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3-0. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Handles the puck from the left side. Forces the turnover. Shen's got it through center. He got all of that hit. The Sharks will kill off a few extra seconds now. Reads the pass perfectly and takes it off. Takes the feed. Moves it to Schwartz. Moves the puck. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Oh, that's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up, times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through him. The Blues have outshot, outscored, and all around dominated here in this first. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked. 
pumps it away to keep the pressure on. Handles the puck. Sent into the offensive zone. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play, but I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. Quick pass to Sanford. Can't connect. Puck grab by Sanford. His reflexes on display tonight. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Manages to hang on. Rocks him. Off his stick. In the back of the net. They score. There's something to build on. I like the way they responded here. This game could have got ugly and out of hand. But now they're at least within shouting distance. Quick shot there, James. Goalie beaten low on the glove side. He thought he had it. Doesn't catch it. has delivered at both ends of the ice, especially offensively, as they continue to lead late in the first. Nice job tying up his opponent. Kane's got the puck. Good use of the body on the play. Quick feed to Sanford. And now he moves it quickly to O'Reilly. Into the attacking area from the left side. Slides the puck over. Gets in front of it. Burns works the puck in his own zone. Quick feed to Nieto. Dumps it in. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. The Blues gain possession in their own end. Knocked away. And with the sound of the horn, that brings some finality to the opening period, and we've got a close one. Are you a super fan? Here's your chance to prove it. side tickets to an upcoming game. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, James Sabelski, ready to bring in the call for period number two. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty, the hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice. You get called all the time. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. And that's broken up. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. St. Louis has been the better offensive club to this point, and that's why they lead here in this second period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Denies him! Scooped up along the wall by Kane. Big stop by the keeper. I want to go back to that chance we had just a moment ago. The goalie reads the play well, makes a great save on a really good scoring chance. Lots of time left in this period. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Trying to get the puck out of his own end and manages to clear the zone. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. And now he angles it across to Marlowe. Couldn't find the intended target. Here he is on the backhand. Wide. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall.
Gains the zone through the middle. Shot just wide. St. Louis gets a hold of the puck shorthanded. And the penalty killing unit doing work. Excellent kill as we're both back to even strength. The penalty kill gets the job done. At times it looks like, oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Pretty cut and dry from up here, and the officials saw it firsthand with hooking the call. It's a penalty of being in bad position, and I think when you impede a player like this, they should call the hooking penalty every time. The Blues send their man advantage unit out once more. Time to get back to work on a power play that's already scored tonight. Don't change much. Keep working away in the same manner. Made that stop. Bozak slowed down with the hook, and the official's arm is in the air. Here comes the official's decision. Kane's going to get two for hooking on the play. I guess at a certain point, you got to let the guy go, but he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. St. Louis has a five-on-three with loads of time to spare. That's quite some time on the five-on-three. What a big advantage for them. They have to take advantage of this opportunity. You can't let a two-man advantage slip away. Sends one across. Great pad save. Picked up along the wall by Thomas. Denies him again. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Couldn't complete the play. Moves it to the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop. Dubnik's played an excellent game. His save percentage has been really strong, as you might expect, but they just can't score at the other end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Through center along the wing. Tries to get it to Burns. Takes it to the front. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. St. Louis is in the offensive zone. The Blues fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Immediately, this becomes really frustrating. But as they go back to the bench, the power play will look at that and say, we did a lot of good things. We do that again the next time, we're going to score. And they fail to go tape to tape. Picked up along the boards by Tarasenko. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Sanford. And we've got a two-on-one. Turns it away. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. LeBanks got it in the defensive end. Moves it on over to Hurdle. The Sharks played along the boards. Here he is from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. the two-on-one the defenseman gives the goalie the shooter and he makes the save still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark st louis is enjoying a 3-1 lead to this point here's a short pass to ferraro he scores his first career playoff goal different level of excitement james you score in the regular season that's one thing you get another one in the playoff and you are pumped the defensive team can't get control of the puck off this face-off. It ends up into his hands, and he beats the goaltender. San Jose's jumped right back into this one with a much-needed goal here in the second. They're trying to generate more shots. They just haven't been able to, but they cash in, James. Now they're only down by one. Puck scooped up by Dunn. Couldn't connect on that pass. Puck picked up by Falk. Great cross-ice pass. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. And now he passes it to Kane. Picks off the pass. Along the half wall with the puck. Here he is in front. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Sends the pass over. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Tarasenko's got it along the wing. Comes up with the stop. Oh, I want to see that again, guys. Roll it again. 
Hey, enjoy this hit. You don't get many like this. It is solid, clean. There is the contact. The Blues are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and a lead in the second. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Driving right to the front. Dubnik's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. LeBanc's certainly in a confident state here. His point streak's extending, and he wants to keep it going. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. St. Louis is in a dogfight. They're clinging to this 3-2 lead. And there's the save. The Sharks move the puck in the defensive zone. Nieto's carrying it ahead. Here he is, wristed on net. And there it is, but wait a second. They're waving this one off. I don't think this should count either, James. The play is waved off immediately. The Blues bench just jumped to their feet when that puck went in the ice. They're all screaming for goalie interference. No time to think about that non-goal calls. We are ready to resume here. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Can't find his man. Battle along the boards. Nice poke check. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. And he slides it quickly to Perron. And now it's grabbed by O'Reilly. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. The Sharks have it now. And it's a quick pass to Sorensen. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Moves it to Marlow. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice pass. Carlson's got the puck along the blue line. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Loose puck battle along the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Marlowe's chicken wing has resulted in an elbowing penalty. Looks like he's not going to make contact, and he chicken wings him, and he gets nailed for elbowing. The power play unit goes right back to work. They've already scored on the power play tonight. They'll get another chance here. James, I don't think they have to change anything with the way they go about it. Now a quick pass to Shen. Made the stop on the play. St. Louis has looked good offensively tonight, putting a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. The Blues take possession off the faceoff. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! More than half the frame has been played here. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And a successful clearing attempt. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Directs it on over to O'Reilly. Bumped off the puck. They clear the zone. St. Louis has it near the wall. Slides it across to Schwartz. Back to the point it goes. Stops some cold. Off the tip, see, and that's another power play marker. Now oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They have done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. You want money, you go to the bank. You want bread, you go to the store. You want goals, you get into the net. The rebound's there, he puts it away.
St. Louis looks a little more relaxed on the bench there, Ray. What do you see? Yeah, they should be. I mean, they've worked hard to get themselves into this position. Now you want to put the pedal down, try and stretch this game out, and put it away. Puts it up front! And he was right there! They can't connect! He's got a breakaway! Big time save! Advantage goalie on this one! Sometimes the goalie takes the advantage by keeping really still. Don't make the first move. He did it perfectly. Past the midway mark of the frame. The Blues have all the momentum right now, leading by two. The Sharks win it in the defensive zone. San Jose's got it against the boards. The Sharks carry it along the wall. St. Louis has it in their own zone. The Blues have the puck now. Sends a pass over. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Play whistle dead because of an offside. The Blues continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Pareko's lugging the puck, and now he moves it to Bozak. Takes a hit, but still hangs on to the puck. And he slides it quickly to Thomas. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Quick pass to Couture. And that one's broken up. Dishes it to Steen. Up along the wing. Passes the puck over to Thomas. Quick feed to Steen. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Dunn. Quick pass to Bozak. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Here's a short pass to Bozak. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Looks to make a play over to Nosen. Receives the pass. San Jose's got the puck against the boards. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. The Blues have it against the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Nieto. Here he is, shot right in front. Denies that opportunity. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. And look at this, a three-on-one with the stop. Bennington's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. The Blues have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. On the attack along the boards. And he's able to handle that one. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Here in the late goings of the period, St. Louis enjoying a two-goal lead. It's 4-2. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Bennington. They fight for it along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Slides it quickly to Barbashev. Not able to connect. Moves it to Sorensen. Pokes it away in his own end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Makes the save. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Excellent stick work on the play. Taken along the wall by play. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. St. Louis has it against the half wall. Nothing doing on that. Scooped up along the wall by Burns. Looks to get the puck over to Sorensen. And they'll dump it in. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Sets up from Gretzky's office. An easy glove save made by Bennington. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. 
That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The centermen glide into position. St. Louis wins the faceoff. Passes on over to Perron. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Quick pass to Perron. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Moves around along the half wall. Snapper from the slot. Denied by Dubnik. High quality chance, high quality save. The Blues continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. The Sharks take possession off the faceoff. San Jose is moving it along the wing. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Quick feed to Tarasenko. Takes the pass. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Dubnik. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. And now it's over to Nieto. Picked up along the wall by Pareko. Tosses it on to Shen. And there's the save. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Just a friendly reminder about tonight's silent auction. All items can be viewed and bid upon at the display near the guest services counter. Big third period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. Been a great night for hockey so far. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? The Blues are playing the type of game I love, James. Score one. Don't worry if you give up one. Just go get another one. Goals, goals, goals. Let's it go. Stopped by the goaltender. No way, the official signaling a goal. That's a goal. This puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. The Sharks are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, Ray. They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you. You run out of time. Into the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Wow. He scores! That's the hat trick! Now, what a great feeling to get three goals in a game. Doing it on the road is a, is a real nice trick. Again, these guys' arms are going to get tired. Two goals in ten seconds. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Taken by Pareko. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a pass down low. Takes the feed. Here he is in front. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Wow. Puts it into the back of the net for the goal. Yeah, breaks this tie, Dave. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time.
got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. The Blues come up with a big goal here in the third. There's a difference between sitting back and protecting and trying to grow the lead. I always like the team that works to make a one-goal lead, too. Moves it quickly over to O'Reilly. Referee's got his hand extended. He caught that trip right in front of him. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Now you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Blues once again send out their power play unit. They've been successful on the power play already, James. So now you get another opportunity. Do not relax. Go pile it on and get another one. And he denied that opportunity. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Dished on over Aronson. Slides the puck across to Vlasic. Fails to find the open man. It's a two-on-one. And he blocks it. Scores! Two goals in 50 seconds. So quickly on the board. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Teams are usually more conservative killing penalties than this. They make a mistake, now they give up the man advantage break. The power play doesn't miss on the rush. The Blues with a quick strike in this third period. What a difference that changes the outlook of this game. A one to two goal lead in the third period becomes a big deal. Puck grab by Dunn. Score on the power play. With possession along the wall. Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. Picked up along the boards by Kane. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Here they are on the attack. The Sharks have it from the corner. Huge steal at his own end. And now he moves it quickly to Shimmick. Face on the attack. Here's a short pass to Shimmick. Denies him on the one-timer. St. Louis wanted to create more offense coming into this one, and they've done just that, leading early in the third. Steps in and takes the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Dunn. The Blues played along the wing. A chance with the stop. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Couture stick handling in his own zone. The Sharks move it in. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. A chance on goal. Denied by the goaltender. And there's the whistle on the heels of that save and the puck going out of play. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalie gets the blocker up to make the save. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Gets a hold of the puck. The Blues take it along the wing. Moves it to Thomas. San Jose's got it behind the net. Sends it quickly to Couture. Moves the puck along the half wall. Stays with it. Good battle along the boards for the puck. All smart heads up play to poke that one away. St. Louis plays it along the wall. On the doorstep. And that one's broken up. Great block there. The Sharks will play it from the defensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sorensen. San Jose's on the attack. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Quick pass to Schwartz. Here's a chance. Strong defensive effort. Tries to get the puck over to Donato. The Blues gain possession in their own end. Moves the puck. Tremendous use of the body on the play. Quick feed to Barbashev. St. Louis plays it up ahead. Through the neutral zone, it goes to the middle. And that one's turned away. Moves it quickly over to Carlson. Donato's picking up steam. 
They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Sends the pass over. He was left in there. Dubnik's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. We'll get another look at that hit. The boards don't move, and so that hurts the way he finished them in. But look, the glass is still rattling from that check. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Let's the wrister fly. Stopped by the goaltender. San Jose's across the blue line. Puck scooped up by Nieto. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Came up with the save on that play. Couldn't make that one happen. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Can't catch up to the pass. Big play inside the defensive zone. St. Louis has possession of it now. San Jose is looking to break out of their own end. And he slides it quickly to Nosen. Fires it into the offensive zone. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Taken along the wall by Sanford. Inside the offensive zone. Handles the puck. Stick save and a beaut by Dubnik. That's not even... Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Tripping is the call. Did he sell or is that the right one in your mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. San Jose's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Best part about being on the power play, no matter how good or bad it is, you get another chance, out you go, and you've got a chance to make it better. Slides the puck over. Dismiss that chance. The Blues have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Bozak's won the faceoff. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Gets it out of his own end. The Sharks will play the puck from behind the net. San Jose's got it along the wall. From the slot, wrist shot, stopped by the goaltender. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Sends it across. That pass goes a little sideways. And they move the puck out of harm's way. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. And sends it just out of reach. Puck dumped in, and they'll complete a line change. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Shuts him down. The Blues get back to even strength as the penalty-killing unit delivers. Well, this has been a familiar script. Take a penalty, kill it off. The penalty killers have been perfect tonight. Puck picked up by Bozak. And he'll take a step back here deep inside his own zone. St. Louis plays it along the boards. Scandella's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Couture. Kings moving it ahead. Moves it to Couture. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Dishes it to Shen. St. Louis moves it ahead. Here's an odd man rush. Quick pass to Fult. Nice pass. And he comes up with it. Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. Wax it into the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Shen. And that pass goes awry. Shen's going to play it against the half wall. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Look out, a two-on-one. Couture's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And he scores!
When you're on the ice for a delayed penalty offensively, you have no worry about taking a chance. Nothing bad can happen. The good thing he one-times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. San Jose's closed the gap here in the second half of this third. They've given themselves a, an opportunity now, just trailing by one. The Sharks win the faceoff. Score. Scored by number 28. Timo. Move to the middle. Here's a scores. Again, these guys' arms are going to get tired. Two goals in 10 seconds. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. You got to get into the middle of the ice to score. He's in the low slot and he whips the backhander past the goalie. He's got a little mojo back on their step after that goal here in the third. You work and you try and keep yourself light. You keep yourself aggressive. But if nothing happens for you, it gets pretty heavy. They feel good now. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Shot and makes the save. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. Battling for it along the boards. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Dubnik's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. A critical draw here. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Just slide to the net. Time to go back. Get a new one. The Sharks are on the attack. St. Louis skins a hold of the puck against the boards. And he handles a cross-ice pass. And now he angles it across to Sanford. Sends a pass over. San Jose's got the puck here in the open ice. Wrist shot from the slot. Stones him in front. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. The Blues win the faceoff. Move to the middle. Slides the puck down low. And it's a quick pass to Bortuzzo. Scooped up along the wall by Marlowe. Quick feed to Sorensen. Can't connect. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. The Blues have it against the wall. Tosses it to O'Reilly. Moves it quickly over to Sorensen. The Sharks ready to go on the attack. Here's a short pass to Shimmick. And it looks like hooking is going to be a call coming up here as the official's arms up in the air. Scandella's getting two for hooking. Well, when you stop your feet, you're almost advertising to the official to keep looking. There's the hook. San Jose's special teams have another big opportunity to deliver here. In a close game, this is a critical time to have a power play. You'd love to get on the board. However, they've had no success tonight, comparatively speaking. Not much happening on the power play. And now he moves it to Donato. The Sharks play it along the boards. Slides the pass over to LeBanc. Moves it to Steen. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Dubnik's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. St. Louis wins the draw. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. He looks deep to Kane. Sends it over. And they come up empty-handed. Now a quick pass to LeBanc. Shot makes the save. Right positioning. Looked easy. 
We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Answered the call there. Gilles Levesque blows the whistle and someone is off to the box. Pareko's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. You turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it, lump it. San Jose's got a small window with a five on three. Well, I would say the power play has been nothing to write home about tonight, James, but now they've got a chance to score here on the power play, turn around what's been a real rough stretch for them. More time off the clock as they grab the puck and manages to clear the zone. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Through center. Jabs the puck away. They get it out of the defensive end. The Sharks from their own end will go for a quick change here. Quick pass to Donato. Sends it to the opposite corner. The Blues have possession shorthanded. And now it's over to O'Reilly. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Maintains possession. Great poke check on the reach. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Played big in the moment there. Bennington's taken away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. Quick pass over to Donato. The Sharks take it along the wall. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. There's the horn to end period number three. Still deadlocked here. That means overtime is coming up. Feeling hungry? Try our arena restaurant for gourmet dining with great meal giving action. Or get a light meal with one of our many grill locations on the concourse. Ray and I will take a quick breather with OT coming up next. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski here in the broadcast booth. They are ready to drop the puck on OT. San Jose's power play is still intact as this period is now underway, and they take possession. Goes right to the crease, looking to end it, and he denies them with a monstrous save here in overtime. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. up along the wall by Kane. The Sharks fail to score, and overtime rolls on. Sometimes you miss a power play, and you shrug your shoulders and go back to bench. This feels like a pretty heavy miss. Finnington's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Blues win the draw. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Centered out in front, and they can't connect. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Pokes the puck away. Picked up along the boards by Shen. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Quick feed to Schwartz, and he makes the save. The Sharks will play it in their own end. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And a penalty is coming up as the play is whistled dead here. Looks like tripping the call. Sometimes they're lazy, sometimes they're just bad luck. What an opportunity looming as they go back to work on the power play. There are times in the game, James, where I'm standing here and I can feel the excitement on the bench. You get a power play in overtime. Those guys work in the power play, they can't get on the ice fast enough. Receives the pass. Stop that one. Looking to break out here on the power play. Moves it quickly over to Donato. The Sharks looking against the half wall. St. Louis will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty. And the puck leaves the zone. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a chance! And he comes up with a huge save! Duke 
Phoenix teammates are going to be pumped when they see that on the replay. What a stop at this time in the game. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Couture's won the draw. One-timer. He scores! OT winner! There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. Huge goal in overtime. Boy, look at how it's changed the series, Ray. The win and the series lead. Puts them in a great position here. They needed to have that. Of course they do. You're in overtime. It's so sudden when the goal goes into the net, and that's a really big goal for them. My name is James Sabalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere.